You made it for a reason, and you made it for a purpose. Welcome to She Gets It Podcast. This is episode 19, season 17. You deserve mental clarity, too. Because you do. We all get so wrapped up in, this is adulting. Not, uh, you know, this is life. We should enjoy it. But you're not special, and you have shitty days, and that comes with life. Deal with it. And... I think we're looking at it the wrong way. When people talk about life, it's just easier to go negative. Why don't we talk about the positive things first? Because people act like in life we're not supposed to have peace. We're not allowed to have peace unless we're rich, unless we can afford it, unless we have this house, unless we have this car, you know? We're not allowed to rest because we can't... um, get this yet so don't rest don't sleep and you gotta sleep to rebuild you gotta rest to step back right and in life the more you do equals the more that you're able or you should have more options to do and we are so stuck in this you know let me do this so I can get ahead of this. But we're not getting ahead of anything if we don't have peace, if we don't have clarity, if we're frustrated, if we're miserable. So let me tell you some ways you could get some mental clarity. And hopefully that helps you have a great day. I just want to do thank you guys for checking out She Gets It podcast. This podcast wouldn't be nothing if I wasn't getting listeners, okay? So I appreciate you. If you're looking for ways to support She Gets It Pod, you can always get you some merch from She Gets It Shop with Teespring. Drop ship delivered right to you. Or you can donate directly to Red Circle, which is my podcast platform that provides you all of my podcasts. And you could donate to Red Circle. Where does the money go? The money goes to... You know, supporting the ideas that come with podcasting for me, equipment, and, you know, where I can get more merch ideas for the podcast to make the next seasons to come better. All right. I am a creative, but I do work a nine to five, but I am a creative and I do pour into what I do, what I come up with and how I give you guys content constantly. Greg knows this. All of the pod fam knows this. Baylor. Gigi, Drake, like what is Shan doing? She's probably recording or she's probably coming up with an episode or she's probably doing merch. So I appreciate you guys. Um, Everything goes somewhere to support something I am doing. And don't forget to check me out at shanbpodden.com. Now back to the show. So I decided to do this in more so of like a countdown way. So bear with me. So the sixth thing that you can do to get some mental clarity is remember that you cannot get into a good mood if you don't make a mental choice to change the mood that you are currently in. Let me say that one more time. You cannot magically get into a good mood If you do not make the mental choice to change the mood that you are already in. How you feel right now. If you really in your mind don't want to change that and you want to be within your anger and you want to be within your frustration and you want to dwell in the stress, then you are going to be stressed. You are going to be frustrated. Your anger is going to grow and it's going to be passed on to other people through energy. Shout out to Protect Your Energy. A good mindset is a terrible thing to waste. You got to think different. If you haven't tried working out, try working out. I've been trying to wake up early, but I struggle because I go to bed two hours before a good wake up time starts. (laughs) And that's a reality for a lot of us. But that is a way that, you know, we can try to have a better mindset. One that's built on clarity is choosing the moods that we're going to be in and not allowing life to choose them for us so just remember i see it what i see it number five 
Make a comfy space where you will enjoy creating or working. A lot of people live in a place where they don't enjoy it. So they're just instantly mad that they're in it or they take a long time to get home or they might sit in their car for like a whole hour before they walk into a space where they don't feel comfortable or they don't feel um, relieved after a day. And it's super important for you to make your space your space. Make it comfortable. Make it smell good. Make sure that it's clean. Make sure that it's, uh, it welcomes you, you know? Have you tried a Himalayan salt lamp? They sell those for the low net right now because they're super popular. Try that. Or try some candles or try some um, natural smells, whether it's like plants. Plants help clear your your air. Had to move my mouth to say it correctly because I was about to say something else. Plants really help clean out your air in your home, so try that. A lot of these plugins that they uh, sell to us, it doesn't have any good health um, benefits for us later on in life, especially for pregnant women or women that want to become pregnant. Um, There's a lot of chemicals sometimes in them that make that a bit difficult. So just keep your mind on that. But, you know, try what's natural to help you rest and sleep and be comfortable before you try something chemical to go ahead and you know maintain some clarity get some scents that you like for your house that are natural maybe some people like woodsy smells um maybe you might want to try some pine cones or um lavender is a good natural oil that you can put on like the wool balls and put them in the dryer when you're drying your clothes. That way it's a natural scent. Because some of those um, laundry detergents and those uh, fabric softeners that ruin your clothes, okay? (laughs) It puts like an extra coating on your clothing that shouldn't be there, have a very distinct strong smell and it can give you headaches. And you might be walking around your house wondering, I always get a headache when I come home. It's probably something in your house giving you a headache okay and speaking of houses like if you have a smoke detector good make sure a battery's in it right make sure it's not beeping beep beep change the battery in your smoke detector but carbon monoxide poisoning is real so if you don't have a carbon monoxide uh alert thingamajig get one it's like $30 at Walmart you can find them at Target you can go online on amazon.com and order one they're digital now they'll tell you you know what's the level in your home so you're not you know surprised by that so people are not like dying in their sleep like we hear always hear on the news a whole family died from carbon monoxide poisoning in the home because no one knew that it was that high in the home and you fell asleep and you fell asleep, you know? So just be mindful of your home and is your home making you sick? Change your air filter in your house. Gain some better mental clarity by being able to breathe correctly in your house. Number four, if you feel lifeless, plant some life. Go out in the yard, go out in the garden, or get you some pots for the house and plant some herbs like mint, basil, rosemary, spearmint. Snake plants are great for the house and they're very low maintenance. Spider plants are good. Maybe a lucky bamboo plant. If you have like a window that has a lot of light, a lot of plants love a lot of light thrive on a lot of light and some plants like uh, they like to be in the shade but get a little light at the side and you just have to really know what's going to work for you and how much you can give to it right but that's a great way to get out of the bad mood or a funky mood is to plant some life have something to look forward to number three let go of old thinking let go of old thinking Okay, if an old thought is not helping you push forward, let go of it. You're basically exhausting yourself through your thoughts. 
let it go. Remember what your focus is and focus on that. Stop comparing your old self because you will never be able to be your old self again. Be a better self right now. Okay? It's a wrap for your old self. You focusing on right now what you can change, what you can adjust, what you can make better, what you can improve now. I never understood why people dwell and look back. Man, I had so much money back then. I should have did this and this and this. Well, you didn't do it. So right now at this moment in time, in real time space, what are you doing right now to take advantage of the opportunities you have today? Because remembering old stuff is not about to help you. If it motivates you, cool. But we're not about to sit and dwell on some old stuff. Number two, I say all the time, take your ass outside. Take your ass outside. Okay? The sun always makes me feel good. Always makes me feel good. I love sleeping in the sun. Is it good for your skin? Hell no. But I love sleeping in the sun. And the last bit of fresh air we got, we must enjoy it because they are cutting down trees left and right. They are polluting our air. You know, pollen is here. And I know a lot of y'all with allergies, y'all gonna be in a funky mood if y'all don't have y'all drugs. But go to the park. Go to the park with the person you love or go talk at the park or walk at the park. Take your kids to the park. Take your family to the park. Walk to the store if it's closed. You don't always have to drive everywhere. Visit an outside shopping area and go relax. Go walk with your family to go get ice cream. Enjoy y'all personal time. Like That helps a lot of people get some mental clarity and a hold on what's really real in life. Not where I'm trying to go and I'm not there yet. But what's right now that I can enjoy, that I can make real memories with the people I care about in life? Number one, find things to be grateful for. Things you already have, people you already love, appreciate them, appreciate it. Appreciate your space. You could have never told me three years ago I was going to be in a house like this. I was going to have a yard like this. I was going to have a new truck. I was going to be running my business how I want to run my business. I was going to be podcasting. Nobody could tell me that. Now, in my mind, did I know like I'm going to be able to get out of this funky situation that I don't currently like right now and it's going to be better later? Yes. But I only knew that because I told myself that. I believed in that. I strive for that. I push for that. I didn't let anybody tell me, oh, you're not going to be able to get another house or you're not going to be able to get this in this time or I don't think you're going to be able, you got to do this and this and this or you're going to have to, you know, work here in order to be able to get that two years after this time. When you work, life works. When you strive, life going to strive with you. When you honestly do your best, Life will reward you. But don't try to do your best with guilt of not getting the things that you've been telling yourself you're going to get. It's like you're not really believing in you. When the creator sees that you're doing your best honestly and you're striving and you're pushing and you're staying consistent, space will be made, period. Space will be made Things will fall into place because you've been consistent. You deserve the things and the opportunities that you are getting. It's not luck. It's persistence. It's preparation. It's making space for change. So if you want mental clarity, try these six things to get mental clarity. It's not hard, but it does take some confidence It does take you knowing who you are. It does take, you know, long days, consistent nights, (laughs) but you will get it. So don't get wrapped up in, you know, this is adulting. This is what you do as an adult. 
deal with it. Your parents had to deal with being miserable for 30 years. So you got to deal with being miserable for 30 years. Just get somebody because you're going to need somebody. Get somebody. And if they make you miserable, just deal with it. It could be worse. No, 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 no. I am never for bringing aggravation into your space. I am never for having any relationships held on to that don't pour into you in a good way. I am not looking for someone to just be around me and help me do life because I don't want to do it solely by myself. And no, I don't like them and they don't like me, but at least I don't have to pay full price for stuff. I'm not, I'm not with that. I'm not into using people. If I don't like you, I don't want to be around you. If I know you don't like me, I don't want you to waste your time being around me. I'm real about that. Every day is a fresh start to say no. Every day is a good day to say no. Every day is a good day to start. Every day is a good day to tell somebody truly what you really think about the situation, what you really think about the job, what you really think about um, what plans you have. And if they don't like it, that's fine. That's fine. Life is not meant for us to keep people, to keep souls. That's selfish. So if you got a plan for it, do it. If you had a dream, it deserves a plan. If you've been consistent, stay consistent. But don't disappoint yourself by not believing in yourself. You deserve mental clarity too. My name is Shan. This is She Gets It Pod. I appreciate you for visualizing your future with me. Visualizing everything that you want to focus on. And out here getting it. We're going to make it a good day. Shout out to Everything Culture. Peace.